SSS Veda Day 16. Now, I recently showed you about flash fill. Some very simple examples. And what happened? Raheem Ali comes on and asks a question. And see, this is why we can't have nice things. Because somebody's always got to ask questions and make things complicated. Raheem Ali. Actually, Raheem is a good guy. Really good guy. Gives a lot of Excel classes and asks a legitimate question. So, I'm going to answer this question. Sometimes a list of names is more than just a first and a last name, which are very easy to peel out. Sometimes there are middle names. And this is the kind of solution that you can't muscle. This is not one you can be animal with like in some of the previous videos I've done. This is a kind where you got to turn the lights off and be nice to the data. Here's a list of names. You've got a first initial. M. Sanford Pratt. Margot Marshall Heron, Denise Y. Cranston, Trini O. Period Patterson. So this looks more like reality. So how do we kind of seduce this thing? First, let's do the first names. So Ron, Danielle. Okay, so Flash Phil is already trying to help us out. Let's press enter. Okay, so it got the M, it didn't get the period. That's not a big deal. Let's go for the last name and I'm gonna show you some things that I didn't show in the first video. Read. Carson hyphen Takeo. Okay, Excel is asking if this is what I want. Now it's not going all the way down to the end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back out of this and I'm gonna type rye, love, and then I'm gonna highlight this entire column. And then I'm gonna go up to data and then here's where the flash field button is so that I can manually activate it. Okay, it did go down the entire column this time. So I'm gonna press enter. So we got Lisa Parson Bear, Gene Daniels. Now let's try for this middle name. See if we can fish this out. I'm gonna try to give Excel a pattern. Jameson M. Let's go with O period. Let's see what happens. Highlight this whole column and do the flash fill. Okay, it uh, looks like it filled in the whole column. Let's accept that flash field. Now, it didn't pull anything in for Daniel Carson to KO. It did peel out Jameson, duplicated Tony, duplicated Abner. Now, what can we do? Now we see a pattern. It's duplicating things, so we can check to see what's been duplicated. Equals count ifs. We want to count if either of these two are equal to which criteria? Equal to this. Double click, bring that down. Now here's what's happening. There is no match for Jameson here. There is one match for Tony 
in between these two. One match for Abner. The one thing we can do is sort this. I just sorted largest to smallest. So anything with a one in this column, I should be able to get rid of whatever is in this column and have what we need. Excellent. It looks like we won. We do have Greta French M. Rahim Ali. It looks like we can have nice things after all because you ask questions and we have an answer. We just have to know how to massage this thing because data is living, breathing and deserves some respect. All right. Now you have another way of keeping your data clean.